Mark Levin right there. Meanwhile, the Biden administration's disinformation governance board facing intensifying pushback as Republican lawmakers are taking action against it, introducing a bill to pull the plug on funding for this board. Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton is leading the effort and joins us right now. Senator, good morning to you. Morning, Steve. I heard Jen Psaki the other day from the podium uh, say, hey, uh, our White House correspondent asked about this, and she said, look, this program was started under uh, Donald Trump, she said. Uh, but the problem comes down to What's information to me may be dis disinformation to somebody else. It all depends on who decides what disinformation is. Yeah, Steve, you're right about that. And Democrats think that disinformation is, is any fact inconvenient to Joe Biden and the Democratic Party. That's why we don't have ministries of truth in our government, why we don't have the government refereeing political debates. I mean, look at this woman that they appointed to run this so-called disinformation governance board. Mm -hmm. Just a couple of years ago, she seemed like a mentally unstable person on social media. She was claiming that the idea that the virus from China originated in the lab in Wuhan, which I was saying from the very beginning of the pandemic, was disinformation. She right. even went so far as to praise the Chinese Communist Party for their handling of the virus. It's one thing to have a mentally disturbed person on social media tweeting about that. It's another thing to give her power in our national security uh, agencies to actually crack down on this kind of speech in our society. That's why I and now I think a couple dozen Republican senators have joined me in an effort to defund this board if the Biden administration doesn't roll it back. I th uh, this would be under the Department of Homeland Security, and I heard Secretary Mayorkas over the weekend say that, you know, uh, it would look at things from uh, Russia and China and, and Iran and bad actors like that. But when you look at what this woman who would run this board has said in the past, she was talking about Hunter Biden's laptop being Russian disinformation. We now know, according to the New York Times, it's been verified. So according to her standard, uh, she would be able to say, uh, you can't talk about that because it's disinformation. Yes, yeah, Steve, that's exactly right. Uh, and it's the point I'm making is that they claim that it's, oh, it's just about Russia and Chinese disinformation. Well, as I said, two years ago, she was celebrating the way China handled the virus and she was condemning us disinformation claims that I was making that the virus probably came from the lab. As you said, she claimed that Hunter Biden's laptop, which any sensible person at the time knew was actually his laptop, was disinformation. What is she going to say next if Republicans are pointing out that inflation and gas prices were on the rise before Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine? that we're engaged in disinformation because we're not calling it Putin's price hike. This is why we don't have ministries of truth in the government. These are debates that should play out in Congress and on the campaign trail. Speaking of Congress, you got to go to work later today. Thank you very much for joining us today. Senator Tom Cotton. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Steve. All right.